Yes, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, guys, as you can see on screen, this is about on TikTok how to fix the issue where you're getting my account is hacked or if you are, um, if you think your account was hacked. So if you think you are the um, victim of being hacked on TikTok, then of course, this tutorial will help you to identify whether or not you have been hacked. And of course, some of the signs to look out for along with what you can do. All right, so let's get straight into it. Now, as you can see here, guys, this is a screen grab from um, Feedback and Help within TikTok, and it basically runs you through what you can do in case you think you have been hacked. And of course, it says, um, if you notice any of these um, suspicious behaviors, your account may have been hacked. And of course, it gives you one, your account password or phone number has been changed. So if you can't easily get back into your account because um, you're getting that, your account has been um, changed or somebody has changed your password especially your um, account name and of course it goes on to say videos have been deleted or posted without your permission message that you did not write were sent from your account all right so the first thing it advises that you do is to change your password or log out all other users who have um, access your device i have a tutorial on how to change your password especially from trying to log in there's an option on screen that should gives you, I've forgotten my password, then you can actually go about changing the password. Even if somebody has changed it, once you get um, access again, I'll link that um, somewhere in this video. All right, so let's start off from the basics, guys. All right, so let's go to TikTok. All right, so as mentioned earlier, usually when you're hacked, look, when you got um, hacked, look if your username has changed. Look out if any of your videos have been deleted or any unknown videos have appeared on your device or on your account, I should say. Now, of course, there's the first thing you can do. Um, as I said, if you forgot your password, simply follow that other tutorial. If you're in now, first thing you want to do is to check for suspicious. Um, so once you're in here, go to um, manage my account. Now, once you're in manage my account, go ahead and check your phone number. Um, if one is not associated, it's a good idea to associate it. So just go ahead and um, if there is a unknown number here, remove it and save your number and re-verify to make sure that you can, um, if anything, you can, any notifications or reset codes will be sent directly to you. Um, next thing, go down to um, security. And of course, there should be a security audit as seen here. It says security alerts. See if you see any security alerts, it should check. Um, if anything, it will take or give you certain actions from here. Um, if not, go down to your devices. Under your device, as you can see here, my um, account is usually accessed by this main phone. So as you see here, if you see a device that you don't um, recognize, notice it's a current device, meaning that I'm connected using this. If you see an unknown device, go ahead and um, tap. It should give you the option to log out or um delete that um, device from your account. So let's go ahead if you see an unknown device here and delete that um, device from your account, meaning that device is not gonna be a trusted device and it will not be allowed to access your account. So that's the first thing to do there on the device as advice. Um, as I said before, if you did not already, go ahead and change your password. Um, notice it shows you here um, that it will either use your email or it will send you a code, usually your phone. So make sure that your number is associated so it can send that code to your account and not to a, another um, phone. And as I said, there's an option at login that says, I forgot my password that you can actually use where you tap. And then of course it would make some checks either using your email or using your phone number where it would send you a reset code and allow you to log in. As soon as you go through, make sure that you do all of this. Make sure you go through, you change your password to a stronger password, right? So do not use um, any old password. Use a brand new password, one usually a mix of um, numbers, letters, and special characters. And of course, once you change a password here, go ahead, as I showed before, check on your devices, delete any unknown devices. And of course, you can always go to the um, report center to ask for additional help. Um, help center with somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, go to report a problem. And of course, choose one of these topics that matches until you find one that will allow you to report um, 
the issue um, if you can't find the option i advise that you use um, this one here let me see if i can find one that would give you allow you to talk to a human you can go to video and sound other other i have a problem and then you can detail that your device has been hacked and what you have done in terms of changing the password um, you have um, reattach your phone number you have also um, deleted unknown device It'd be a good idea to take a snap of that before you delete it and then of course you can walk them through what you have done and submit and of course they will try from their end to do additional stuff but of course that should do it so just in case you missed it one you're gonna change your password um, two you're gonna set a more secure password three remove any unknown device um, from the list of devices that's allowed to access your phone next you're gonna change your associated um, phone number and of course doing all of that should be enough to um, get rid of anything related in art or anybody trying to hack your account all right so regarding garden as usual from blog tech tips in by until next time bye guys